disappointed in that shot. Philip Ringener has had bad luck in the past in the final rounds on TV, but he feels more confident now. Well, the first four or five championship matches I had, I they averaged like 270 at me, but I got experienced and uh, got married about six years ago, and we had a child, and uh, that's just give me more incentive to bowl well. Those bills will always give you incentive, right, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Our friend Jill Ringener. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more after this. We took Bob Learn off the throne. He's back on it. And here's one of the men that's trying to win the national championship, Eugene McCune. He's trailing by 30. His opponent is Philip Ringener. Strike up, though, for Eugene, shooting in the seventh frame. And now he trails by only 20. I'll tell you, he likes that right-hand lane. He just sawed those pins apart. Ball hits light in the 1-3 and takes the 5 and just throws it all over the back end. Head pin coming up back around the sideboard. Now this is the big shot for Eugene McCune. The tough lane. Ringer knows that he's got a match on his hand if Eugene strikes here. There's a professional that started at age 3. His opponent, Philip Ringer, started at age 6. Phillips' parents owning a bowling center out in West Texas. See how Philip Ringener answers that quick turkey of Eugene McCune's eighth frame. Great poise. Wonderful rhythm. So right, Chris Schenkel. He has the best rhythm and stroke going so far today. Adam Apo was a little attentive. Obviously, Eugene McCune trying to overpower everything. And here, Ringener with a nice, smooth delivery. There's Eugene McCune, who got a thumb blister in the St. Louis tournament. He's guarding against that right now with some cotton and collodion to the left. Now, 20-pin lead could make it 30. Here's Ringener. Well, he broke up the split, seven pin going out, leaving the ten. Philip Ringer in the seventh frame pulled the ball and it hit solid. So he played a little more of an oil or straight shot around the fifth board instead of the second board that time. The ball skidded too far down the lanes, almost leads to swishing seven ten. However, with a conversion here, he'll lead by 19. Okay. Second game because if you win it, you're in the finals. Eugene actually with a chance to shut out Phil Ringener with four consecutive strikes here. Without a doubt, the best break of the match. Chichi Rodriguez, that's it. What a man. Tom Weiskopf is in his senior uh, tour debut. And um, they go against the best from an international squad led by Gary Player. It's an all-star international squad. Chrysler Cup begins next. Right here on ABC. Eugene needed that one to take the lead. Third pin on the left-hand part of your screen. Watch it go to the left sideboard and gets twisted between the four and sevens. Does not take out the four. McCune's spare strike would be 215. <laughs> Disappointed. However, Phil Ringener will need to mark a good, solid 10th frame to win the match. So 
it's a 215 for Eugene McCune, who shot a 245 in his first game victory over Adam Apo. Pin action off the right hand. It's actually the three pin comes back and takes out the four and the six. Phil Ringer needs a mark to win the match. Oh, Chris. Del again, Ballard. Again. Two years ago, Phil Ringener and his ankle has a chance to tie this match. Hit his ankle. Now listen, he has to gain his composure. He needs to make the spare and strike to tie. Here it is. He's going to slide into the ball. He's going to hit his left ankle. Now, if there's a time to take a little delay, Chris, although we have a 25-second rule, I would take it right now. Hmm. He must spare by knocking all 10 pins down and then strike. Softened up and he lost it. Oh, boy. Oh, it's $15,000 instead of either twenty-eight or $55,000. Goodness, 204, 215. Can you believe it? Holy cow, Chris, that was unbelievable. Oh, goodness. This week's Choice Hotels International Tip of the Week featured